So you may be wondering why on earth I'm in the kitchen today with awfully bad lighting behind me. That's mainly because it's nice and sunny outside. Now, the reason I'm in the kitchen today is really to follow on from my last video I did around power monitoring and the monitoring system that I use and how I monitor the power of the, um, the PV solar as well as the house um, load and also logging and all that other fancy stuff. So if you haven't watched my last video, obviously please do. However, this video is a little bit different, but it also f follows on from that last video, but it brings up a really important um, point and it also really would help you um, look at how you can save power, look at what power you're using and make really smart decisions. So what I'll do is I'll first show you the device that I've got sitting on my kitchen bench and what, how we use that and how, we, uh, how it can really help you either by using something similar to this or this device itself. So what I'll do is I'll just, have a, I'll just zoom in and um, I'll talk you through what I'm talking about and then I'll go into a bit more detail. So if we come across to this device here that I've got sitting on the windowsill of the kitchen. Now this little device here is a project that you put together, you pretty much solder all up and you build it yourself. Now there's many other different forms of a device like this. It doesn't have to be this one, this is just the one I've got um, and, and it works with my system. What I'll do, because of the lighting so bad, I'll just close the blinds. Right, so now I've closed the blinds, you can have a really good look at this. Now, I'm not saying that you have to, you should get this particular unit, this particular unit's potentially a little bit outdated now, but this, this is, comes as a little kit that you solder together, so it's a bit of a fun project for a day to, to build up. However, the idea of, of this, the information it shows you, where it's located in the house, is the key. So, well, I'll, just, I'll just quickly show you what's on the screen there. So, this is what we're using in the house. It's got a little picture of the house next to it. This is what power we're making from the sun, hence the picture of the sun. So we're making 4.2 kilowatts, we're using 3 kilowatts. This shows you the difference, which is 1.2 kilowatt hours, and then the direction that it's going is back out to the grid. So it looks a bit clearer. All these other numbers, don't worry about what the smaller numbers on the screen are, they're actually a bit wrong, but that's not really the point. Um, if I turn the kettle on, what you'll see is that the LEDs at the top, which are green, which means that we're exporting, as soon as I turn the kettle on, it, it'll update in about 30 seconds or so, and you can see that the LEDs have changed to red and that we're using 680 watts from the grid. So that kind of gives you a good idea about what this unit does. Now I'll just zoom the camera out. So this isn't really about this particular device that I've got in my kitchen. It's really about the location and it's really about the information that that device is actually showing. Now it's all very well for me to understand what those numbers mean. It's really about other people in the house understanding what those numbers mean. And for that, you really need something as simple and as basic as possible, which is actually why I quite like this little device. It's got LEDs, so it's nice and simple. It's either red or green. And it's, either, it's mainly got a couple of main numbers on it that you just need to focus on. There's no big dials. There's no big over complexity. There's, there's nothing. It's just nice and simple. Now, I'm not saying get this unit. I'm saying get a unit that's very similar to that or just shows you the basic information that you can put somewhere in your house that will help you judge what power to use or whether you should use power or not. And that's really the key point, is um, the way, only way to really save power and to, to lower your electricity bill is information. Information is the key thing. Now, whether it be, uh, now I, obviously I understand how that works, but other people in the house don't. For example, your wife, your, your girlfriends, your flatmates, or your kids, they don't particularly know what the information on the screen means, um, and they don't particularly care. So it's really about changing their mindset, or at least making them think when they do use power, because the only way you'll really save power is by not just you saving power or making smart decisions. It's actually about other people in the house making smart decisions. Now, you're not gonna be able to convince people to only turn things on when um, when you're making lots of power. You're not going to be able to convince people to do that because when you're out of the house, they will just do whatever they feel like, it. especially flatmates. They'll do whatever, and the, the same for kids. They'll turn things on, they'll leave things on, and, and, and it just won't matter to them. But what I've found, and th which has actually been quite interesting, is by having this on the kitchen and by choosing a location in the house that is a location that not just you're in 
all the time, it's at a location that things like the dishwasher, things like the wash machine are close by. Now you, it's pointless putting a device like this in the um, lounge or the dining room or the bedroom because what it means is that when you're in watching TV, it doesn't matter whether you're making power or not, you're going to be watching TV. Um, it doesn't matter whether it's in your bedroom and you can glance over about it, it's, it's not going to really help. Um, it, it doesn't really matter if it's in the dining room, unless it's kind of a, a place in the house that you spend a lot of time or other people in the house also spend a lot of time. What I found that works really well is in the kitchen. And that's mainly because our kitchen and laundry are quite close to each other. So we can easily, and we can look out to see what the sun's doing and other bits and pieces. So obviously we've got solar, but on top of that, we can make smart decisions because we can look at the, the little meter and we can say, oh, we're making lots of power, let's turn the dishwasher on. We can say, oh, we're not making much power, let's leave the dishwasher, it looks like it's gonna be sunny in a few hours, let's turn it on then. And just by having that in the corner of the, of your eye or just by having that in a, in a location that everyone can kind of see um, you're not going to be able to tell people you must read it but you'll be able to encourage them to hey have a look at this are we making power or not one of the key other key points and I thought was quite funny was I put this up on the bench and I've had it obviously there for the last year or so but I showed my girlfriend what what you know they, they mean and how the LEDs work and if we're making power or not and what I found is that what I'd do is I'd ask her I'd say hey are we making much power and she'd look glance over while she's making a cup of tea and go oh we're making five or we're making four and just by kind of encouraging her to look at it encourages her to actually think about whether to turn on the dishwasher or whether to turn on the washing machine um, so what we, I've actually found is just by having the, just by having it there, uh, doesn't necessarily mean people are going to follow it or look at it before making decisions. It's actually about helping them because um, they, what they'll do is they'll think and go, oh, we're making lots of power today. I'll turn the washing machine on, or all things like that. Now the best way to save power is obviously information. Is to know are we making much power? Is the power is it free to turn the washing machine on or? Um, dryer or whatever you've got or is it actually going to cost us now everyone in the house isn't going to know how much each unit costs them but if you can at least encourage people to take a, a bit of an interest while they might not understand everything but by taking a small amount of interest making it as simple as possible and by putting it in a room that other people are in or that you spend a lot of time in also a room that is close to the appliances that you could particularly not put on that night and put on the next day like the dishwasher. There's no point of putting the dishwasher on at 8 o'clock at night when it's going to cost you 60 cents to run. When if you run it the next day at 12 o'clock, it's going to be free. So it's things like that that will actually really, really save you money. And it's things like that that will help other people in the house contribute to saving money in the power bill. And it's most of the time it's actually as simple as just encouraging people to think smarter about how they use their power. And really going back to that other example, when my girlfriend yells out and says, hey, we're making five or we're making four, she obviously doesn't understand what the rest mean, but she'll yell out and say, hey, we're making four, I'm gonna turn the washing machine on. Or she'll yell out and say, oh, we're making this much, I'm gonna turn the, the dishwasher on. And it's really quite, quite fun because it, it makes you smile going, oh, she's actually looking at it. And really that's the key thing. It's really about encouraging other people to take an interest when they might not necessarily care how much power they're using or how much power it's costing. Um, so by just having something simple, by you know, having something that's in a place, and really lo location is key in this. It's about having it somewhere that is right next to the appliances that you can choose whether you use or you don't use. And it's really about having it somewhere that is in a part of the house that you spend a lot of time in. So those key things are really are key. And what you'll do is you'll end up putting it there. People might not really care to start with, but they will show an interest, especially if you ask them questions about it and say, hey, what, are we making this? Or, or how much power are we using? Or, or whatever. Um, you can kind of jog their, their thoughts and go, oh. And what you'll find is that people will just look at it and go, oh, we're making this much, I'm gonna go turn the washing machine on, I'm gonna go do this because we're making lots of power. And those really are the key things that I thought I'd bring up in this video. Um, use, power, use power smarter um, and you'll save money.
And really, if not just you, that are obviously that take an interest in this subject, if you can kind of get other people in the house to subconsciously also kind of care about how much power you're using, you obviously will save money and you'll obviously make smarter decisions. So guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next video.